nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys Well, have a look at the time We are looking at 3.24 a.m. Yeah, that's exactly what I told you guys I was going to get going here early in the morning So in the next few minutes we will be out of here yeah, well, I already did my uh, pre-trip here and uh, my logbook and everything is ready to go so I figured why not start the day early by uh, videoing and everything right yeah just letting the truck warm up a little bit all that good stuff you know so we are just about getting ready to get out of here I know there's a subscriber of mine that wants to meet me today and I'm just as much wanting to meet him and uh, we'll see if it will actually work I know he's uh, he's from the Minneapolis area there so I know I'm getting out of here pretty early in the morning so we'll see if he'll be up at 6 a.m. if he is we might get a chance to meet him because I emailed him back he emailed me uh, yesterday so we'll see how it goes but uh, but yeah so we'll uh, we'll get on the road here and we'll see how everything goes and uh, if we're having uh, chance to meet him or not right but uh, if everything goes according to plan we'll be home early this afternoon so so let's get down on the road and uh, thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog you know it's early but uh, hey better start it now right <laughs> so that's come right come and ride along with us and have ourselves a fantastic day together so thanks for joining us. Alrighty guys, we are still cruising along. We haven't even made a pit stop yet. We've been driving now for about four hours. And we are coming into Alexandria, Minnesota that is. Yes, we have entered Minnesota. That is right. I don't know where we're going to make a stop. I'm sort of thinking maybe Fargo. I'm sort of thinking maybe that's where the stop is going to be at today. I don't know. I'm just giving her, you know. I want to get home early today. We got up really early this morning, as you guys saw. It's paying off. We're getting some good miles behind us. Nice and sunny this morning, although it got pretty cold. All malts are pretty much at the freezing point already. It was like at three, three degrees there for a little while. It's gone up to four degrees now. That is pretty cold. Yep. But that's okay. going to have ourselves a fantastic day not windy at all right now yesterday it wasn't windy in the morning either but then as time went on it started getting crazy windy so if that will do the same thing again today at least I'll have me a good few hours in before that happens and I'll be home before you know it I will be home before you know it I'm just excited to go home, you know? Oh, yeah. Now, here at the Smile Marker 100, you got a pilot truck stop way over there. Across the cornfield, I guess. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, guys, we have just made a pit stop here in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. We're gonna go inside and have some breakfast. So let's come along and let's see what we'll have for breakfast. Alrighty, it's time to have some tea. So that's how we look. I told you guys we we're gonna give you guys a look on what we're having. So let's get to eating and we'll see you guys later. Alrighty guys, we just went through Fargo, North Dakota. And now 
was going to go pull in there to exit 66 here on I-29 by the stay mark truck stop but I looked at the long 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 lineup over there for the truck wash is it me I'm just gonna go pass right by it I don't need a truck wash that bad I was gonna go in there and have my truck washed but I bet you there was about 10 trucks on the line up there so I said forget it I ain't even taking my chances on that one I'd probably take an hour and a half before I would be in the line or before I would be in the wash bay you know so nope we're not gonna do that We got 230 miles to go to Winnipeg to our terminal. Yeah, we got a couple of hours to go yet. I guess about four hours. Yeah, probably, yeah. Very close to that for sure, yeah. So, we're just going to continue on cruising along and enjoy the beautiful temperature weather out here you know it really is nice not windy looks like these farmers are starting to get their crop in yeah, they're working bright and early this morning I guess the Sun must be hot enough to uh, get the crop dry enough so they can uh, already work on it at least he is working on it. Well, that's good. So let's continue on and uh, we'll see what the rest of the day will bring us. Alrighty guys, we just had to go pull into the scale up here. Scale was open today. Yeah. It's very rarely that this scale is open up here on northbound side. It's open sometimes going southbound, but northbound it generally is closed. But it was open today, and my camera wouldn't turn on for some odd reason. It had a problem there with the Wi-Fi or something, so I had to stop in the lot there and fix that. So now we fix that, and now we're back on the road again. Yep. We're only about, I guess, 15 miles to the border. Then we'll be in Canada. Yeah. Very happy about that. Miles well for 14 miles. That's for sure. Oh. Yeah. Then we'll uh, have to go to Winnipeg. We got 94 miles to Winnipeg. Now we'll be in Winnipeg in about in two hours, I guess. We should be in Winnipeg, so we got quarter to one right now, Central Standard Time. So that should be, well, I guess one, so two, three o'clock, we should be in Winnipeg. Yeah, that's good. And then should be home probably around four o'clock or just after four. That's awesome. too good there this week so so my wife uh, called the hospital today and made an appointment there so she got an appointment there this afternoon so she's gonna go see the doctor and see what's uh, the problem with our daughter and she's coughing a lot so I'm a little worried about that here over the last couple of days so I don't know if you guys noticed it videos haven't been as good as they have been in the past you know and you got something on your mind and it's worrying you you know it's uh, it takes your interest away from things you know at least that's what it does to me but we're gonna go home and hopefully my daughter is gonna be all right I think so I think she's going to be okay, but 
probably going to have to get some uh, antibiotics or something like that probably and that's why I was saying there earlier on one of my videos there I think at the beginning of the week uh, we try to be really careful this time of the year because that's when a lot of flus go around and stuff like that and uh, we wanted to try and prevent that but I guess uh, can't quite prevent it 100% I guess I guess we won't say too much until we have results from the doctor I guess this afternoon so just have to wait and see I guess well guys here we are continue on this road for 41 kilometers entered Manitoba yeah look at that look at them lights flash over there they're going crazy <laughs> you know what that means eh Holy mackerel, look at that scale up there. Holy smokes. They got a long lineup over there today. I don't know why they close don't they close the scale there when they're got so many trucks in there already, but my goodness. They're just open everywhere today. I don't know what's going on today. I guess because it's nice sunshine today, they just figured that they're uh, going to be open everywhere I guess uh, wanting to inspect everybody here on this beautiful gorgeous day today before it's really winter you know I guess they're just taking advantage of it eh wow that's just crazy I'm never seeing this scale this full you know wow way station ahead yeah I know tell me about it <laughs> Wow, and there's even a bunch of trucks being pulled over there too, you know? I'm surprised at that. Now this is a weird looking truck. Completely black rims. In 500 meters, Green truck. turn right on 5th Street West. Yeah. Looks completely different. But anyways, we'll roll over the scale here and see what they got to say today. Yeah. Well, here we go, guys. Let's have a look and see what they will tell us. Yeah, they're busy in here today, that's for sure. So far, they've been giving everybody green lights, but let's see what they will tell us. Yeah, look at that. Depart. That's what we like to see. Yeah, so let's roll up the window. There you go. So let's get out of here before they change their mind, way right? Station ahead. <laughs> Come on, RJ, we already went across the way station. Don't you know any better than that? Well, we have a hard meters, time. Slide left on King Street oh, and then wow. make a U turn if possible in 50 meters. Looks like this big freight up here, he's got a loose strap up there. I don't know, he's re strapping. Yeah, DOT gave him a hard time about the way he strapped his load. That's what it looks like. This guy had to come in. That guy had to come in. Yeah, this is Manitoba for you. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Rough roads, rough roads. That's what it's telling you. Turn if possible. <laughs> and then turn left in 40 meters. Yeah. Look at that. More trucks coming. This guy has got a dozer, a bulldozer on him. Highway 75. Well, if the DOT ain't gonna be nice, he's gonna take the dozer off. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. So here we go. Let's get back on the uh, 75 south. No, north. We don't want to go south, right? <laughs> we want to go north. We want to go to Winnipeg. Continue on this road for 40 kilometers. There you go. 40 kilometers, eh? I got my uh, GPS set up, it's uh, automatically changing from uh, miles to kilometers when I enter Canada. As soon as I cross that line, it automatically switches over and it does the same thing too when I uh, enter the United States. It switches over to miles. Yep. We got 110 speed limit up here now, which is, uh, I guess, 68, 69, somewhere around there. Almost 70 anyways. That's pretty fast. Yeah, for Manitoba at least. It used to be 100, which was 62. So we take that, no problem, right? 
Except I never drive that fast generally. I go my 62 or 60 mile an hour generally. I like to run at 60, that's the speed I like to run at. I get good fuel mileage that way and that's the reasoning why I'm doing it. Yep. Yeah, I'm an owner operator so I you know I gotta pay for the fuel right so if I uh, drive a little slower take it a little easy you know I can get better fuel mileage and more money in my pocket right so that's the reasoning why I'm doing it a lot of people might look down on me for driving slower but uh, hey that's the speed I like to run it gets me money in my pocket Wanna drive faster, be my guess. You're just not gonna take as much home, I guess. Unless you got a truck that does really good on fuel mileage if you drive faster, I suppose, and why not, right? Yeah. What a beautiful day out here, eh? It's fall, but it's a beautiful day at the same time. Yep. So let's get down on to Winnipeg. Get this uh, trailer dropped at our terminal and we'll see if they got a load home, but if not, we'll bump till home. It's only an hour from there, so. Alrighty guys, we are already on Highway 12. The last final stretch to go home. We got 10 miles to go. Yeah. We uh, dropped our trailer in Winnipeg. And uh, talk to dispatch over there in Winnipeg. They actually had a load for me. Going to stay back. They picked up a load. Now we're on our way to stay back. We'll drop this here at the yard. Do our paperwork. Because tomorrow is cut off for payday. And we have to hand, on, uh, hand in our paperwork. Tomorrow no later than 10 a.m. We're going to make sure we do that tonight. And then that way it's all set and done with. We don't need to worry about it, you know. And then we'll go home and have ourselves a fantastic evening with the family. Yeah. This construction has been going on for quite a while here already, but uh, looks like they're getting their done. They're getting their done. Looks like this bridge is just about finished now too. They ripped all the decks off of it. They had decks on it there before. So it looks like they must be done with that. Now they're just finishing the asphalt here and should probably be open here in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They got all the asphalt on it. Looks pretty fresh too. Yep, looks pretty fresh. Anyways, let's continue on to Steinbach. See, these are the decks that I was talking about. They had on there before, and then they had a tarp over. They could work underneath it, you know. But uh, get rain on it or whatever, you know. So, yeah, let's go over to the yard, and then we'll drop this, and we'll see you guys a little bit later. behind me that day is gonna come 